Brick by brick, Dorabji Tata constructed his father's dream. Dorabji was born on 27th August 1859. After graduating from Cambridge and spending initial years as a journalist, Dorabji became the chairman of Empress Mills and married Mehrbai. To set up the dream iron and steel factory, he rejected his life of comfort and embraced hardships. He set off on a voyage of discovery for iron ore with C.M. Weld and Shapurji Saklatwala in 1903. After much travel, Sakchi was chosen as the site for the steel plant. But Jamshedji had breathed his last on 19th May 1904 without seeing his dreams taking shape. And it was Dorabji who took up his father's reins. To him, we owe the concept of the raising of Indian capital for Indian enterprise. When he tried to raise the funds for the steel plant from London in 1906, he failed to convince the money market. Against every advice, he appealed to the people of India. The patriotic feelings were stirred and the entire capital was realized in three weeks from 8,000 Indian investors. As chairman of the new Tata Steel, he planned the steel city to become the symbol of the nascent industrial India by getting international sociologists like the Webbs and other town planners to create a new ideal, the city of Jamshedpur. In 1911, the first steel ingot was rolled out. Under his stewardship, advanced labor welfare measures were taken. Despite the early success, a crisis set in. In 1924, the company had to modernize or face a close down. The bankers refused to advance money for this. Unperturbed, Dorabji committed his entire personal fortune for the cause, including the famous Jubilee Diamond. During this time, not one worker went without pay, thanks to his personal sacrifice. A keen sportsman, he initiated corporate sponsorship for sports and sportspersons. He financed the first Indian participation in the Olympic Games. Dorabji, the torchbearer of dreams, staked his all and endowed his very existence to the creation of wealth for others.